Hello Taurus, welcome back to Femacy Lighthouse. In this reading, we're gonna be taking a look at the recent past, the present, and the future when it comes to a love connection that continues to challenge you. To book your private reading with me, all of that info is below along with all of the price listings. And the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. The link to my IG is below. And as always, not each and every Taurus watching me is gonna feel like this is their message and that's okay. All right, so let's get right into the recent past. What's going on with this person that Taurus thinks about for the recent past? What's been happening with this person that Taurus thinks about for the recent past, please? Talk to me about the recent past when it comes to Taurus's person. Talk to me about the recent past. What's going on with this person for the recent past? So this wants to come out. Okay. All right. Tell me more about the recent past for Taurus this person, please. Tell me more about the recent past. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the chariot in reverse. Cancer energy. So I feel like this person is still stuck. Okay. They've been stuck for a while. Um, we have the hangman energy, the three of wands in reverse. Capricorn energy. And then we have the five of pentacles. So in the recent past, this person has not been taking any type of risk, okay? I don't feel like they've been communicating with you enough and I don't feel like they're communicating with other people enough, all right? So I just feel like they're in this energy of just waiting or wanting to be left alone. They could be isolating. With the three of wands in reverse, they're being very stubborn. They are viewing something from their point of view and that's it. So it's not like they want to understand your point of view or get where you're coming from. It, there's this big energy of them being selfish here in the recent past, okay? But they do feel left out here by somebody, okay? We will clarify as we move along. Spirit, please talk to me about the present. That was the recent past. And now talk to me about the present when it comes to this person that Taurus is dealing with. Talk to me about the present, okay? You see? Trapped. They're still stuck somewhere. All right, so they're thinking a lot. They can't stop thinking about a certain situation. Tell me more about the present when it comes to Taurus's person. Tell me more about the present for Taurus's person. Okay, um, they could be traveling pretty soon or planning a trip. Needing to get away from where they're from is what I get. So they need to um, either go to visit family members or there's a plan to go away on a trip. In the present moment is what I'm getting. And I feel like they're getting their money together in order to do that. All right, um, I feel like they are heavily telling themselves that they need to remove themselves from you. All right, even if they are stuck, they are telling themselves that they have to move on. I don't know if they saw something of yours on social media or if somebody told them something, but they're heavily in this stubborn energy of moving on with their life in the present moment. Spirit, please talk to me about the future when it comes to Taurus and this person that Taurus is dealing with. Talk to me about the future, please, when it comes to Taurus and this person. What's going on with them in the future? What's going on with this person that Taurus thinks about in the future? What's going on with this person? What's going on? King of Wands, all right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me more about the King of Wands in the future what's going on with this person in the future tell me more about this person in the future okay so i feel like they have a decision to make in the future all right here you are at the bottom of the deck Nine of Pentacles. We have the Temperance right behind that. Sagittarius. I feel like either they are the ones that are leaving or they're watching you leave. 
because the two of wands is watching the six of swords. So somebody is watching somebody go away is what I get here. All right. This person feels like you're not interested in them anymore in the future here, that you're not wanting to give to this, that you don't want to invest. However, I feel like they do have a lot of feelings for you, but they're quiet about that. They don't want to talk about it. They're so guarded and blocked off, but I still feel like they watch you with the Page of Swords energy. Okay? So now, let's clarify. Spirit, please clarify this Five of Pentacles in the recent past because somebody feels left out here in the recent past. So talk to me about that. Talk to me about that. Five of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, somebody made a decision here. They feel that you are so pissed off. I just feel like they think that you cut them off. For some of you, you did. Maybe you did cut this person off because they feel like you have taken your energy away. Like you're not giving to them the way that you used to, Taurus. That's what I'm getting from their energy here. Um, let's clarify who it is that's walking away here in the present moment. Spirit, please clarify the person that is walking away here in the present moment. Who's walking away here? Who is it that's walking away here? Hmm. Oh, this person is like pissed off at you. They feel that you don't care anymore, Taurus. They are low-key pissed off with the moon card about the fact that you're keeping it pushing. You're like, all right, bye. That's the vibe that they're picking up on. Even if you do have feelings for this person, they feel you very cold, detached, and distant. Let's put it like that. All right, let's clarify this hermit energy in the future here. The Taurus in their person. Please speak to me about the hermit energy here. Why is the hermit here? Okay, hermit. Hmm. They're quiet about a new beginning here. Clarify the star card. Spirit, please clarify what they're quiet about. What are they quiet about here in the future? Spirit, what are they quiet about here? What are they quiet about? What are they quiet about? Hmm. Well, well, well. They're quiet about all of the love. Ace of Cups energy. We have the Sun card, the Ten of Pentacles, which is your energy. However, the only thing I don't like is the Three of Swords being present here, which indicates third-party energy. I don't know if your person is dealing with a Virgo or a Pisces or an Aquarius, but we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Sun, with the Three of Swords. So what I want to do is... I want to collect all of the cards back, and we're going to take a further look into this third-party energy. Okay? Let's see. Yeah, because how can you get the Sun card, the Ten of Pentacles, and then the Three of Swords? So we're going to clarify that for you guys. Spirit, please clarify this Three of Swords energy, this third-party energy. Please clarify this Three of Swords energy. Why do we have this Three of Swords energy here for Taurus's person? Hmm. It's like it's so difficult for them to find peace with you, but they love you and they're unhappy without you, but it's hard for them to find justice in this situation with you for some reason. They keep telling themselves no when they really want to. The six of wands in reverse and then the three of pentacles in the upright. So they are denying themselves the access to you is what I'm getting here. They're confusing themselves. Seven of Cups energy, the Emperor reverse. Nine of Cups, though, you are their wish fulfillment. But they feel like you are so pissed off at them. You keep showing up as the Hierophant in reverse. So that's how they're viewing you. And they're pissed off, too. Look at the Emperor. But you guys wish for each other. 
What is the outcome? What is the outcome of this situation? What is the outcome of this situation for Taurus and this person? What is the outcome? King of Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Sun card again. There is potential for you guys to fix this, but it's going to take a lot of patience and a lot of time. And the conversation needs to be had around where are we going from here? Because I feel like the reason why you guys are always arguing is because someone feels that they're not progressing in the connection enough or it stays in the same place and it doesn't evolve. So the conversation around evolution needs to be had when you guys come back together. Because if not, if this person is not going to talk to you about evolution or going to the next level, I don't feel like you're going to entertain it at all. So that's the energy that I'm getting, Taurus. So it's like you both want each other, but you both are being very stubborn here. The Emperor reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, with the Nine of Cups in the middle. So it's like... You guys are each other's wish, but it's like you aren't backing down from each other or it's like if you don't talk first, I'm not going to say anything and somebody wants to be chased here and the other one is like, if you don't chase me, then I'm not going to chase you. I'm not going to blow up your phone. You got to look for me. It's this back and forth battle type of energy. This is definitely two people who definitely love each other, however... You both have egos, <laughs> okay? Um, these egos are getting in the way here is what I'm getting. And I don't blame you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you are a confident person. Your person is also confident, though. You, you both are have like this, um, this charismatic type of energy of knowing your worth. But you guys need to speak to each other about what you both are worth. Like, that's the combo that needs to be had. Yeah, you both understand your worth. We get that. But where are we going from here? You know what I mean? Because this is an empire. If you guys were to actually come together, then this would be a powerhouse couple. And I think I've said that to you before. But ego is in the way here. So my best suggestion would be to be as humble as you can possibly be if you want this connection to work. If you guys communicate again, then I wouldn't start it with an argument. I would be as peaceful as I can be. Eventually, whatever it is that you want to talk about is going to come up, but don't let it be the first thing that opens up the combo because then you're going to push somebody away. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching to book your private reading. All of that info is below. Please follow me on Instagram. Please hit the like button. Thank you and take care.